Well, actually, I'm not nervous. I'm just waiting for the clock to run down to two seconds, and I'm going to start. First of all, I want to thank Al Davis for those kind words. And I think what is said here today will soon be forgotten, but what is being done here will be remembered forever in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. And I guess I'll start my talk out by saying that if I had one word to describe how I feel, then that's pride, proud, being proud to be here and enshrined with the other athletes who had the good fortune to make it to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. I'm also proud of the fact that I grew up in a very, very small town with a great mom and dad who raised 11 kids and part of that tradition of playing football in western Pennsylvania. Proud of growing up in a little town called Youngwood, which was in the heart of, <laughs> heart of football in western Pennsylvania. I was very proud of my heritage. I developed a lot of character in the early days of, Learned that hard work, dedication, and discipline, and tenacity, and never giving up, you can succeed and improve your life. I never aspired to be a professional football player. All I wanted to be was to go to the college, get an education, and better my life. And I had the good fortune to attend the University of Kentucky and had the great pleasure of playing under the great legendary Coach Bear Bryant, who is still coaching at the University of Alabama. And he had reinforced my spirit of hard work, dedication, and discipline, never giving up. I received my education and my degree and never really aspired to be a professional player, but it happened that I was drafted by the great Chicago Bears and a great George Hallens. George gave me the opportunity to play 10 years, gave me 10 good years of training in what I called the minor leagues at that time so I could stay out one year and get prepared for the great AFL that was coming into existence in 1960. I am very proud to be here and be the fourth AFL player to be inducted into Pro Football Hall of Fame. Long time in coming, the recognition that we, the founders of the league, the players, the original players, Jim Otto and I, who played in the every game of the American Football League of its 10 years. We were ridiculed, we were maligned, we weren't recognized, we tried hard and we played hard. We gave it 110%. I would have never fulfilled the honor of being here today if it hadn't been for Al Davis, who at my age of 39 thought that I could still kick and throw the football a little bit. And when Al called me up in July of 1967 to come back and try out my third season, my third career with the Oakland Raiders, I was the first to jump at it. Without Al and without the Raiders, without that team spirit out there and the pride and poise, the winning attitude, and playing on about 85% of the games we played in nine years we won with the Raiders. Certainly that attitude was very, very helpful to me. And without Al Davis, and without his guidance at the top managing that club, I wouldn't be here today. I want to thank two great coaches that I had at Oakland, Johnny Rouse, who was my coach in 67 and 68. He helped me. He also coached my brother at Army, quarterback coach in 1959 at West Point. I also want to thank John Madden, who is here, who put on a great show yesterday. And without John and his leadership, uh, I might not have been there for the seven years I played for John. I also want to say in closing that I think that the way I feel today that this is family. I'm so proud that my family will always be remembered in that hall when they came through and see my bust along with Willie Red and the other great athletes there, that they would take pride in saying that their dad played 26 years of football gave it 110% effort every time he was out there and tried to win when it was against all odds, always were in there trying to win the football game. I am proud that my wife, Betty, married 31 years. She put up with me for 31 years. Can you believe that? Without her and my two lovely children, I could have been retired many, many years before I did. But they encouraged me to continue to play, do the thing I wanted to do. They sacrificed. I sacrificed an awful lot. I missed kids growing up because I was out playing that silly game, having fun, enjoying myself. 
In the last five years since I've retired, I have tried to take the time to fulfill some of the things that I didn't do in those days. With that, I will say that I am certainly proud to be in the Hall of Fame. I am very fortunate that I got to play 26 years of professional football, more than any player that's ever played. And the thrill was competing week after week after week, after year after year after year. I really feel proud and honored that the good Lord gave me the ability and the strength, the upbringing, to continue on the game that I sincerely loved and enjoyed playing. Thank you very much.